Oh, hey y'all, Venture Brad here. Got a bit of a flat. Well, not really a flat, but a leaky tire. I wanted to go over with you how to fix it, how to repair it, and mainly how to find the leak. So first off, bottle of just regular Dawn dish soap. So if you water, tire repair kit, box stock, razor blade, and in my pocket here, something the tire kit doesn't include, like the razor blade that it should, is a tire tool. You get these about anywhere. Um, I cut the valve core off and glued that in and tightened it up real tight, and that works pretty good. Uh, you can use an old bicycle tube or whatever, thread of fine thread bolts in there or something. You just need a tool to take the valve stem out. Before you do that, though, you want to find your leak. Um, I've kind of already done the hard work here. So actually, our leak is right. Can you guys see it yet? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Real easy to find once you've found it. So yeah, find your leak. Soapy water does real good for that. If you're having a real hard time finding your leak, go down and get yourself uh, some bottle, um, these bubbles, like kids' bubbles that you'd blow into the air, and try them out because they actually will. Uh, the glycol in there will show up a leak real well. Or you can use a kiddie pool or any form of water to get your tire into, depending on the size of it. So now I just want to. Get all the soap out of the way, clean it up, so I can inspect the hole. At this point, you should either mark it. You can mark it with a crayon out here on the sidewall. For me, it's right straight across my valve stem. And it's a pretty easy one to find, even with just the water on it. So we'll get it up into the operating position here. Now, if you take a look down in here, you can actually see there's a little bit of metal. Um, you could take needle nose, try to dig it out, but I'd be very careful with that because if the needle nose slip, you could actually lose an eye. Uh, I'm not kidding about that. That is quite possible. So your kit here includes a couple sets of tire plugs, instructions, you know, what we think of instructions, a couple of patches, a rough and upper, uh, rubber cement, and these two tools. Now this is pretty much what we're going to need is a set of plugs. We don't need instruct. Well, I don't want that to blow away. <laughs> Bell bicycle stuff. Um, set of instructions. These two tools here, and the glue. Another thing uh, you're going to need is a rag, just because glue will get everywhere. Stash this back away. And first off, besides inspecting our hole, so we take this tool, the raspy bit thing, and we just kind of take our time. And you're just kind of feeling your way down into that hole. You're, you don't want to go making a new hole. Because you'll plug a hole that you just made and not your leak. So you want to kind of, and it's especially on this heavier tire, you have to kind of get after it. So just find your way down into it. I can feel I'm still along that piece of metal. Drastic tires call for drastic measures. Now you want to take your pluggy plugs. Now these ones are pretty basic. They make some nice butyl ones out too. But these have always proved me well. I only pull it about halfway out there so my fingers get less sticky. And the whole trick is to get this through here. This tool is actually a fairly nice opening and fairly well finished. A lot of them aren't that well finished. Pliers, needle nose, something. Pull this through here. Don't use your teeth, people. No, it's a non teeth job. We're not trying to buy dentist oil drives here. Or optometrician's eyeballs, so safety first. So now we want to get this about halfway. Pull it all the way off our packaging here. Keep that little twist that it wants on it. Now that we think we're all ready, it's time to get messy. Take your uh, rubber cement, 
not flip it over. Pop. Ooh, squishy, squishy time. Now we want to, I do want to make a mess here. Don't worry, a little bit on your tire will, won't cause an issue. Oh, just don't get your fingers in it or your beard in it or anything like that. But you do want to get this good and wet for two reasons. One, it's going to help her slide in there. And two, it's at, like as a lube. And two, it's a glue. So it's, yeah, it's going to glue in there. So out, try to remember your angle, and in. And when you're sending her home, it is difficult. She'll go. Just wiggle, prod, motivate. Hmm. I think I've motivated my tool sideways. There she goes. Okay, we're getting lucky. You're gonna break it. I ain't screwing it up. You want to go as far as you can without poking all the way through. And carefully, and just feel it. Work your tool out. If you have any twists in it, it's not going to want to come out. So there you go. So now I'd recommend letting this dry for a few hours. But if you're on the side of the road and you need to get going, you can. You go ahead and put your valve core back in. Tighten it up. And the last trick to all this is buttoning it up in terms of when it's good and dry and not going to make a mess, come in with a razor blade, flush it off nice and tight. Once you've done that, you're good to go. I rocked plugs for ages. Like, long, long time I've rocked plugs. And they've always worked for me. If they're in the, within the tread width in this area, I consider it safe and serviceable. If it's uh, in the sidewall, I've done it to get off trail, especially with vehicles that don't have spares. Uh, so in sidewalls, I've done magical stuff. And you can, especially when you keep the pressures low, like under 20 PSI. This truck's street pressure is 65. Um, it's a big one-ton truck, so yeah. Um, and it's meant to haul the tires wear nice there. But um, it's not recommended to do this right. You should go to have a tire tire shop, have them vulcanize a patch, which is like a hot iron gluing, pretty much where they're blending the rubber of your tire to a patch on the back side of it. That's the way to do it right and safe. Uh, like I said, but I've done this for years. Just make sure you trim off the tail once it's good and dry. Run your air pressure, check it, keep an eye on it. But besides that, you should be good to rock.